Here at 10, the pandemic has prompted a teenager in the West Metro to unleash her inner entrepreneur. Yeah, she's turned a passion for baking into a business, making some dog treats. Maury Glover has more on her story. People say it's a business that makes them smile, and they haven't found something like that in a while. The first thing to know about the Husted household is there are a lot of wagging tails. So this is Sparkle. She is our chief taste tester. And it was a nickname for their furry friends that inspired the name for Sadie's company. We call our dogs wiggly butts, and that's how their butt, re that's how they react when we give them the treats. The 13-year-old began baking during quarantine to give herself something to do. I was making zucchini bread, banana bread, brownies, cupcakes, cakes. But when her family had their fill, she turned to making peanut butter treats for her dogs, Sparkle and Tucker. My favorite part of baking for them is that they get so excited and they always know when I'm making them. Reaction to Sadie's pet project from friends and neighbors was so positive, she decided to go into business last fall. She has her own logo and website, but mom does the company's social media because Sadie is too young to be on it herself. It's kind of crazy because the reactions that I get from people when I tell them that I'm a business owner, they're like, no, you're not. Yes, I am. I can show you my website and I can show you all of our products. We never really knew where this was going to go, but as a parent, you want to inspire your kid to achieve the impossible and, and, and think big. And that's what we're trying to teach her. And this is not the type of education she'll get in school. And so um, we're really proud of her. Eventually, Sadie wants to expand her product line to include canine accessories as well. In the meantime, she plans to shake up the business world and leave the competition behind. Having people call their dogs wiggly butt and everyone knowing what it means, that, that would be really, really cool. In Victoria, Maury Glover, Box 9.